How to check your home's water for radon. Hello, and welcome to Video Jug. Radon. You can't see it, smell it, or taste it, but the Environmental Protection Agency estimates at least one in every 15 American homes has a dangerous level of it. If your water supply is high in radon, you are at risk for developing lung cancer, the deadliest cancer of all. Radon is a naturally occurring gas which is released from uranium contained in soil and rocks. It can seep up from the ground and poison your water supply. The good news is that you can reduce the amount you and your loved ones are exposed to. But first, you'll need to find out if you have a dangerous level of it. Here's how. You will need 1. Radon and water kit that meets your state and EPA requirements. A bowl. A towel and you will probably also need some scissors. Step one, your opening act. Start by opening the kit, if you can. This is where those scissors are gonna come in handy. Inside, you should find two sample vials, two protective mailing tubes, a prepaid postage envelope, and a location information card. Step two, source the source. Find a source of water in your home where you can get a sample of non-aerated water. If all of your faucets have aerators, your first option is to temporarily remove one of them. To do this, start by drying your hands, then either closing your drain or covering it with your towel so the aerator doesn't accidentally drop down there. Now unscrew the aerator in a counterclockwise direction. Step 3. Don't be a drip. Let the water run for a while, then fill your vials completely up. Be sure there aren't any air bubbles. If there are, redo it until you get it right. Step 4. Close it up. Screw the caps onto the test vials and then go put them in their protective mailing tubes. Step 5. Take the plunge. If you're not able to remove your aerator, the alternative is to fill a bowl with water. Submerge the collection vial into it and fill it with water. While the vial is still underwater, screw the cap back on. Again, you must completely fill the tube up and there should be no air bubbles. Step 6. Fill out the forms. Now it's time to fill out the forms provided to you by the manufacturer of your kit. Typically, you will need to provide your contact information and possibly a lab fee. Put everything into the pre-addressed envelope. Step 7. Post it. It's recommended you mail your water sample within four days of taking it. Timeliness will ensure a more accurate analysis of your water at the lab. Step 8. Hurry up and wait. All you can do now is wait for your results to be sent to you. Typical turnaround time is about one week. Step 9. Read the results. Reading the results might be confusing if you're not familiar with radon. The most important thing to know is that radon is measured in picocuries. Also, testing is done on the metric system, so you will receive results that will tell you how many picocuries you have per liter of water. There are no current U.S. government standards for radon in water, but Congress is considering a maximum contaminant level of 300 picocuries per liter for public water. For information on deciphering your radon test results, consult the EPA's website, www.epa.gov forward slash radon. You can also call the Safe Drinking Water Hotline at 800-426-4791, Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Step 10. Get radon active. Experts warn that there are no safe levels of radon, but if you have 20,000 picocuries per liter or more, you should definitely take action. One of the best options is to have a water treatment system installed in your home. Done.